<clears throat> okay. Three, two, one. Hey guys, Silly Ninja here, back for another Fulham part, and we're going straight into it with a game against Stoke in the Capital One Cup. This is the second leg of the semi-final, I believe, and did you see how many injuries and red cards they had? There was about six main players they had that couldn't play in this game, which is absolutely insane. But, um, sadly, they do score in the 7th minute, but then Berbatov brings us back in the 17th minute. Um, I think, I can't remember what the score was last time, but I think it was a crazy game. It was like 4-2 or something ridiculous, so hopefully, I was thinking in this sim, I thought, right, okay, if I could get to the final, that would be crazy cool. And, as you can see, I did it. And next episode, you'll be seeing some some special, special stuff. Special stuff. Special stuff. Special stuff. Yeah, special. <laughs> um, we receive a transfer offer for Dimitar Berbatov. Now, I was thinking, right, okay, he is a good player, but he's only getting older. He's 31 at the minute. His price is only going to go down and down and down and down and down. And so are his stats. So I was really contemplating it, as you can see, what to do. I thought I'd counter offer a bit more, but not a ridiculous amount more, because I wanted... You know, I wanted money, if anything, because I think I could get quite a good striker for 6.8 mil. Quite a young, up-and-coming striker as well. So, yeah, that was going on at this time, which is crazy good. 5-3 in aggregate. Um, Suarez linked to Spurs. That would be amazing. Imagine if Suarez went to Tottenham. Gareth Bale, Lennon, and... Suarez up front, that would be insane. Not up front, but like on the counter would be absolutely insane. QPR came back and said 6 mil, not 6.8. So I put it down to 6.5. I thought still I could get something for that, which would be pretty good. But then it comes back again saying they're only willing to take it to 6 mil, sadly. Sadly, 6 mil is their limit, and I'm not really willing to go down to 6 million because that's his asking price. I also get an, um, a transfer offer from Juventus for Insigne, but. You're not getting him for ten and a half million. Don't be silly. He's only 21. He's been fantastic this season. So, and I also get um, a contract offer from Hungary. I think that was yeah, which I rejected because it's Hungary, and you'll know why I rejected it. If you don't, then watch the previous episodes because I explain it every time. <laughs> and so, sadly, not a lot happens for us in this transfer window because we don't really have any money. Um, and I'm not willing to sell any of my players, really, to be honest. Um, Tiote is thinking of leaving, I believe. Um, and I get I snub Hungary, and Juventus rejects Fulham thingy, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, Ryan Williams is getting annoyed because he's not getting enough money, but he doesn't play, and I want him to go anyway, so why would I offer him any more money? I don't understand. But so there you go. Dimitar Berbatov and QPR talks have broken down, so he's not going to be going. They couldn't agree on... Um, uh, on personal levels that you got there in the, got there in the end. Um, but here it is, transfer deadline day. Now, as I said, this isn't a very exciting transfer deadline day because um, I don't have any money to spend. So, first news is that a match was rescheduled. Woohoo! Crazy! How crazy is that? Otamende, Otamendi sorry, has gone to uh, Marseille. Tiote has gone to Liverpool. We get an offer for Frey for 2.1 million. And again, I was thinking, well, he's not that good. But it was very late in the day for to get a cover left mid, and at this point I think I was playing 4-2-3-1, so I needed um, wingers, and Leeds weren't uh, willing to go that high for him, so I thought, right, okay. Uh, oh, sorry, Leeds were uh, willing to go that far, so um, Frey has gone to Leeds, which is 2.1 mil in the uh, in the kitty. But, and I was thinking, well, I could sign somebody, but there's not that much point. He doesn't really start that often anyway. So, yeah, we also get some offers for Steve Sidwell. <clears throat> Again, I was thinking about getting rid of him because he's, he's 30. He's only going to get worse. His form isn't very good at the minute, but that doesn't really matter because that's very a fickle. That's a very fickle um, thing to take a player's skill on. But I didn't want to get rid of him because he... He's quite a staple in the team. He doesn't start, but he's very useful for when I want to rest Sven Bender. So, you know, I, I put a ridiculous offer on him. So, um, Celta Vigo, or Celta Vigo, I don't know, came in for a bid for um, Petric as well, which I bumped up a little bit, and they thought, nah, I'm not going for that. <laughs> far too much, far too much. Um, as you can see at the top of the Fred has gone to QPR. Uh, QPR have recently been taken over by big... Um, Squ uh, big squad, not big squad, that's not what I'm talking about, <laughs> big investors, so they're signing all sorts of people, 
So there you go, Fred's gone to QPR. Luis Fabiano's gone to Sunderland, which you'll be seeing, I think, in the next episode, him playing. Really amazing signing. But there it is, the end of the deadline day. Not a lot happened. Barcelona with apparently were within Rooney talks, but that didn't happen. That didn't go ahead. David Stockdale's moaning. And we move on. Uh, I don't think a lot happens in this simulation because, uh, because it's... Um, international break at the minute I believe yeah it is the results on the side um, I get another international management offer from Northern Ireland again not good enough so I reject it and we move on to the Norwich game I believe is up next uh, Norwich are 20th in the league so I was hoping for a win here really I mean considering but look at those games six games in three days including a League Cup final and two against Manchester United Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. How how the Premier League expect me to play those games and play with sufficient amount of like, energy within the players is just absolutely ludicrous. I don't have any idea why that is. And it still goes Saturday the 2nd, and then I have a game against Tottenham, and then I have a game against Chelsea. Crazy, absolutely crazy. So I had to decide when to rest my players. So I decided to go ahead for this one. Um, and then rest for the Manchester United game in the league, which is risky, you could say, but I wanted to put a good thing on the League Cup final, and you'll be seeing something special for that, something special, very something special, are you excited? I am! Ah! Um, this was a very quiet game until the 81st minute, not really a lot had happened previously, but a fantastic ball to go over um, Supertic. He then, Supertic tries to block it, but he just gets tackled. Snodgrass wants it a bit more, does a little cool stop and turn, takes it around Schwarzer, not round him, but takes it, just past Schwarzer's grasp and tucks it into the corner. It's a very good finish in the 84th minute. Just disappointing, to be honest. They're 20th. How could this get any worse? But we do have the god, the prophet, the beautiful man that is Insigne, and he just runs in from the wing, cuts inside, and smashes it into the far netting to equalise in the 90... I think it's the 92nd minute, actually. The last second of stoppage time, just to gather our um, faith and our hope that we can actually finish fifth or fourth, even, at this point, because it's crazy. Our form has just been sensational, away from home and at home. Our team just does not want to lose, and there you go. You can see how close it was. It was literally just the last kick of the game. We equalised, so a bit poor considering that we um, that we it's Norwich and they're twentieth. But it's lucky that we didn't drop f full three points. We just dropped two really. Reese has been playing well. Um, he steps up to the to the grade. His form has been very good. I really just like him for free kicks. To be honest, I only play him for free kicks so that one day I can. Showing the clips and put the release the Kraken under the thing so that you know when you see the free kick, you know you know what I'm talking about. You know, you know, you know. I know you know. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> so uh, the next game is against West Ham. Now um, this is the game that I played full team against. I think. Yeah, I play full team for this game and then rest for the Manchester United game because I have a realistic chance of winning this, whereas I don't really have a realistic chance of winning against Manchester United, so I was being tactical about it. Um, and Berbatov, can he prove that I'm good at chips? No, he can't. Hit as a box. How embarrassing. <laughs> um, now, this game is at home and it's not raining for once. I swear, I've played like 90% of my games in the rain. It's rubbish. But in the 15th minute, Insigne is attacking the defence as he usually does. Berbatov takes a heavy touch back, but Steven Sidwell gets it, plays it into Insigne, and a fantastic near post finish for Lorenzo Insigne, who scored again. Absolute beast performance this year. And I hope that he just keeps improving and improving as time goes on because he's being an absolute, absolutely amazing at the minute. Near post goal, brilliant goal, brilliant finish as well. His finishing, I think, has gone up by like six, I think. Crazy amount of finishing. Sadly, I was sloppy at the defence. It goes through to Andy Carroll, which luckily Supertich gets in the way. Um, but as you all know, I can't defend corners. <laughs> so he gets whipped in from Matt Jarvis, and Diara just wanted it a bit more. 75th minute. Really annoying because I can't. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with um, defending corners. I'm just a bit of a moron, I think, to be honest. Um, I don't know why it's cut there. For some reason, it is. <laughs> I think that ended one all that game. I don't know. That was a fail on my part. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about the fail of an edit. But here we go. We sim the Manchester United game. 
Um, it is at home, so I was thinking maybe, just maybe I have a chance. I was saving most of my players for um, the League Cup final. Sadly, Rooney scores in the 35th minute. I skipped to the 90th. And that's pretty much the end of the episode, guys. So if you could leave a like, favourite, share, whatever you want to do with it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!